Uh, good morning, good evening, or good afternoon, whatever time it is you guys are watching this video. Um, I want to go through the foul water lab with you and some of the equipment. Um, and uh, so first thing you're going to do is you're going to get about a 50 milliliter sample, I think, from your uh, teacher. And uh, this is kind of what it looks like here. Um, kind of a, you can think about it like a garbage disposal water. Um, and uh, we first want to get a baseline of what is in here, okay? You're gonna do. You're gonna keep track of things like color, clarity, uh, presence of solids, conductivity, uh, odor. Make sure you use your wafting motion. You won't soon forget if you don't. Um, and uh, approximate volume. Okay. Um, as far as uh, clarity, you're gonna. You can use words like colorless, uh, which probably wouldn't apply in this case. So far, uh, you can use uh, maybe cloudy transparent if light goes through it you'd say transparent um, you would say things like um, opaque if you can't see through it so this one right here as I look through it I'd probably call that opaque um, conductivity you're gonna use a conductivity meter and uh, what you can do is you're gonna rinse this off before you use it and also after you use it put this in your sample if it's if the sample is conductive to electricity then what's gonna happen is you'll notice that it's the light starts blinking or it might just kind of go on sometimes you can uh, you can record the intensity of the blink as well that actually can give you an indication about how conductive this material is all right once we get done with that um, then we're actually going to start to clean it the first step is the sand gravel filtration you've got a cup here and on the inside you can see is some some gravel it's actually layers of gravel and then there's sand, and then there's more gravel, and then underneath you can see some, there are some holes. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna grab a 250 milliliter flask, or excuse me, beaker, put that underneath. You're gonna pour your foul water through here and collect uh, some of the water that goes through. You're gonna run all those same tests that you did before. Color, clarity, presence of solids, odor, conductivity, and approximate volume as well. Um, and you can do that on the water that you collected in here. This water then gets transferred to um, one of our uh, one of our Erlenmeyer flasks, and you can pour that water in here. And then you're going to put some charcoal, okay? And the charcoal that we have is very fine. You're going to use about a half a scoop or a level scoop um, for it. You're going to put that in here, along so you have your charcoal and your water. You're going to put your thumb over it and you're gonna shake it. You wanna shake it up here, kinda of like Jersey Shore, all right? You don't wanna to shake towards the lab table because you might hit the lab table and it might break, okay? Now that we have that, we need to filter this sample because we actually made it dirtier because we added charcoal to it, all right? And uh, this is the uh, setup for, uh, this is the setup for your, uh, your filters, you're gonna have two of them. And uh, I'll show you how to fold the filter paper. Um, you're going to get a piece of filter paper and you're going to fold it in half. You're going to fold it in half again. And then when you put it in your filter, you want to grab three sides, if you can see that there, three sides of this and pinch those together. You can put that in your filter and you'll have no space in there. You'll wet this down with some distilled water and set that in there, um, and then you'll filter your sample. While uh, after you start filtering this, then what you're going to do is you're going to have your distillation set up, and um, and then we're going to distill the water. Um, what you're going to have is um, a setup. Let me rotate this like like so, so we can see what's happening over here. Um, Right. You're going to have all right. You're going to have a round bottom flask. You've got a double ring set up here and a utility clamp holding this in place. While you're filtering, you're going to let you're going to rinse all the stuff out with distilled water. Uh, you're also going to have um, a beaker that you're going to fill with ice water here. You're going to rinse out your graduate cylinder. And then we're going to connect these with a distillation tube, okay? Looks like this. And 
We can rinse this tube out as well. We're going to connect these together, all right, and so that the tube uh, fits nicely, neatly in here. You may have to adjust the height of your ring stand setup. You want to push down on the rubber stopper, not on the glass. The glass will break, all right, and it'll probably go into your hand. Not good. Okay. We're going to heat the water that once we filter our water, we're going to test it. Then we'll put that water in here. We're going to boil this until there's a little bit left. We don't want to boil all the water away because if there's something left over in there, and we boil it all, all the water away, then we'll just burn that stuff and then we'll contaminate our water. The steam is going to travel through the tube and then condense into this graduated cylinder. It's going to condense because the beaker itself, remember, has an ice water mix in there so it's nice and cold. When you have a little bit of water left, you'll turn your Bunsen burner off, call your teacher over, and we'll help you um, get your graduated cylinder out of here and, and, and uh, make sure you're doing that in a safe manner because even though this is glowing red, it'll still be pretty hot. Okay? The sample that you have that you collect in your graduated cylinder, you're going to pour it into a special uh, beaker that we have only used for this, only used for your final foul water sample. You'll do your tests and then show your teacher and uh, they may drink it, all right, but you are not allowed to, okay? Uh, hope that was informative. Uh, email me with any questions and uh, good luck.